define slow biking? My favorite is to tell people, if you think you're going to sweat, slow down. The rest of the world, you see everyone rides their bike like that. In America, people are daunted by getting into biking because, oh, I'm not in shape to ride. Oh, I'll have to wear spandex. Our biggest deal with people is that there's no uniform required in our world. It's just normal people who are using appliances. They're not sporting goods. They're not getting in shape. One of the issues here is people take their freeway commuter mentality and they apply it to their bicycles. They go, I've got 20 minutes to get to work. I gotta get my cycling duds on. I gotta get to work, I gotta shower. Maybe if they took a slower bike, if they rode a little slower, they weren't so sweaty when they arrived, they wouldn't need to shower, they wouldn't need to change their outfit. And happy and ready to go. And they're wearing their clothes that they work in every day. I haven't gotten on the marketing bandwagon for the <laughs> slow bike movement because I am the slow bike movement. I'm riding a hundred pound bicycle and commuting with a bicycle with a box on it every day. I am slow bike. I have no illusion of racing people anymore. I used to race. I don't have any illusion that I'm the fastest person on the road. If I have 10 extra minutes to ride to work, I can enjoy my ride. I don't need to be bearing down. I don't need to be in a hurry. If you think you're gonna sweat, slow down. It's about smiling. <laughs> That's slow bike. That's our conference bike. That's basically a giant tricycle where seven people can sit and they all pedal together. If we're talking about slow, that's really slow. Oh,